Well, hello out there, all my DIY artsy crafty friends and family. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hello. My name's Dee, aka The Messy Perfectionist, and on this channel, I'm sharing my love and learning for all things artsy crafty related, believing that every person has some spark of creativity within them that they maybe have yet to explore. And it's my hope that by sharing my own journey of learning and inexperience and my wins and fails, that maybe I can inspire someone else to start on their own artsy crafty journey, whatever that looks like for you or wherever you perceive your current level of skill to be at. So welcome to this little judgment free and creative safe space in my corner of the internet where we can share and maybe learn something fun together. In today's video, I am sharing a speed through color along page out of the adult coloring book Enchanted Forest, which is by Johanna Basford. It is the castle mushroom scene page you can see here. I decided that I wanted to create some kind of wintry feeling with this one. So I went ahead with just picking a simple and cool toned color palette. You may have seen this page completed if you watched my completed pages flip through that I recently uploaded. I mentioned I'd be sharing this. So here we are a little late, but we got it going on here now. So I, I hope you enjoy watching the process come to life. And if you did miss that video and are interested in seeing all the pages that I did complete for August, I will link a name card up above now. But for this page, I did use my Prismacolor Premier Pencils to complete it. And I'll show you the swatched color palette card I have here that I selected with the pencil numbers. So you can always pause the video or return to it later if you would like to follow along or create this picture using something similar or these exact uh, colors. As per usual, I will periodically talk throughout the video, followed by some music. But before we begin, if you guys do happen to see or hear something you like, or you have felt inspired to create in some way, please consider subscribing to my channel, hitting the notification bell, the like button, sharing, commenting, all that good stuff. As doing those things really does help a little channel grow along with of course watching the video throughout to the end for those of you that have continued to support me i truly appreciate all of your time and your beautiful comments it means more to me than you all know i do hope that you enjoy watching this please let me know in the comments below what you thought what you would like to maybe see next and i will definitely try to comply but with all of that said we're gonna go ahead and get started. We'll talk throughout the video and then towards the end. Thanks for watching. So I'm starting with the trees here in the background and because I wanted to just use these uh, cool tones and almost not quite a monotone because there's some purples and pinks in there, but I wanted the trees to be blue. I just really saw this as a wintry kind of frozen forest that I wanted to kind of create the feel for and because this is a learning channel and I am newish to all of this I just kind of played around I didn't really find any guidance for this or anything like that I just went with it and this little tree here I had so much trouble with I thought it would be the easiest one and it wound up being a little bit of a challenge for me you'll see me work at it and then go in with my eraser and kind of recolor it a little bit and blend it for some reason I just could not get it the way I exactly wanted as I was going in the end I think it came out all pretty and I liked it and it, there I am with the eraser <laughs> I love that little eraser pencil I know you guys have seen me use that before and uh, heard me talk about it but it's such a great little tool to not just correct mistakes but also to um, you know remove some pigment if you want to kind of lighten some areas create some highlight it's just a really good tool to have 
So between that and my little colorless blender, which you will see me uh, use periodically throughout, they're just really helpful in creating those shades that you want to, to either lighten or brighten and smooth the colors together. If you have not used a colorless blender, give it a go. You can really see how it will transform your pencil. It just looks so much better than um, without if you're not, you know, using multiple pencils to just kind of um, blend that color. It's an easy way to do it, even if you're just using one pencil, one color. Having a colorless blender is really helpful. And if you see me going with a paper towel, what I'm doing is just removing some of that wax bloom. Prismacolors are very soft and buttery and they will leave some wax bloom. So periodically I will wipe some of that away so that I can see better where I'm at and if I need to go in a little bit more. Taking a paper towel really does help in that aspect if you have kind of a creamier pencil. This is where I start using kind of my purple tones. I wanted this tree to be different than the pine trees and I knew I would be using some purples and pinks between this leafy tree and then some of the ivy below and kind of the plants. So I wanted the purples and pinks there and create a little bit of a different feel but still have that uh, wintry feel at least to me.
Because I wanted the castle to feel as if it was blended with nature, I wanted to keep the tones very similar and use those blues and pinks and purples that are right next to it and just have it almost be part of the terrain.
So now I'm just kind of going in and creating a little bit of highlights between my kind of uh, creamy beige yellow color to some of the areas to just bring out a little bit more of that highlight. And then I go ahead and grab my white acrylic paint marker and start doing a bit of my finishing touches after wiping off a little bit more of that excess wax plume. I have fallen madly in love with my white acrylic paint marker and gel pens. They just help elevate my pictures so much, I feel like, especially with things like water. I love using my gel pens and the white acrylic paint markers for accenting water. I also go ahead and use it on the trees a bit to almost give a little bit more of that frozen feel and maybe snow, adding just a little bit here and there. It was a lot of fun doing this picture. I did not wind up doing a background for this. I'm not sure if I'm going to or I might come back to it at some point later. I just wasn't sure what to do for the background so I'm leaving it live for now. I might come back to it at some other point and decide to do a background and if I do I will definitely update you guys but I kind of just liked this picture just leaving it as it was and generally I like doing backgrounds but I did it for this I wasn't sure where I wanted to go with it so I just kind of go in here and there where I feel like I want to with my pen and just add a little bit of highlights to the plants and our little caterpillar friend. I did decide to go in a little bit with fine liner pen as well and just kind of go over some of those areas you will see me uh, use and then here I'm just going in and just adding a little bit more pencil to the castle where I wanted to create a little bit more shadow and depth. But then that was kind of it. So I would love to hear what you guys think down below would you do this picture in a similar palette how would you do it or how have you done it if you've colored this page do you have any suggestions for a background i would love to hear your thoughts remember as always until we speak again to always take a little bit of time for yourself it is good for you and so then it is good for all of those that are around you self-care is important and being creative can be such a nourishing and healing way to take that time for yourself. So remember to always take at least a few moments for yourself doing something that you love. Always be kind to yourself and always be kind to others. Thank you all again for watching and have a beautiful rest of your day. Bye.